I'm about to head to the climbing gym for a little Saturday morning session and before I go, I was going to cook eggs, but I have egg, so I'm going to cook my egg and then we will go climb. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Oh, I'm already scared. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, look at that. All right, let's go climb. to John at the climbing gym and the climbing gym is basically empty like I'm really excited about it because it's usually packed in here and John is doing 10 climbs and in between each climb he's doing 10 push-ups and 10 squats so I think I'm gonna join in on that So yesterday I somehow managed to tweak my back pretty bad bouldering on this stupid black V4 that literally no one in our gym has managed to get. So I'm hoping maybe today's session will somehow untweak it. I don't know. That probably is not going to happen, but you can be hopeful, right? Maybe it'll crack my back the other way. I feel like I'm 90. <laughs> I can never decide if I like sport climbing or bouldering better. I feel like some people have a definite preference, but I kind of like thoroughly enjoying both. It keeps it fresh, you know? I'm actually surprised how good the holds were. They're like new holds that we got in our gym and I really like them. These holds are kind of cool. They're pretty good. So I think I'm just gonna stick on this wall just for a little bit and I'm gonna do the blue V2 now. And this one's one where you have to go really slowly and take your time or else you get all crossed up. This orange V1 felt oddly confusing to me, so I'll distract you from my ungraceful climbing with videos of the fish in our climbing gym fish tank. 10 points to Gryffindor if you can guess the clownfish's name in the comments.
Up next is a red V3 that is really slopey. Slopers are my anti-style, so I'm doing my best to work on them more. So on this red one, there's a sloper that's just like this much out of my reach. I've done it before. I know I can do it again, but it's really about like rocking all your weight over to the left. This particular problem has like a gas on move. So that's kind of an interesting uh, like press into move uh, on a sloper. Uh, that's something that I haven't really done before. But I'm trying to figure out how to get past and up over this volume. All right, I think I know what I need to do. I think I need to um, get my foot higher, my right foot. And I think I need to press up and into that hole like a mantle. I'm gonna take a quick little Pac-Man break. Let's freaking go. Okay, so the whole 10 climbs, 10 squats, 10 push-ups thing got messed up by my obsession with this red problem. I tried several more times, but ultimately it's going to have to wait for another day. Oh, okay, we're done with it. Have you guys ever seen what it looks like inside of the climbing gym wall? Sometimes I think I should live in here. Probably be pretty bad health-wise. After the red, I decided to give the new set on the arch a try, and this pink V3 looked like a really fun problem. She don't sit bubbly, bodies are touching. I'm loving the way that we dance. I'm wishing we had no pants, but that's too advanced. So we gon' move slow and groove to my brown flow. Street dudes, many. Okay, yeah. So way, way, way too tired to do that pink one right now. I bouldered yesterday. I'm bouldering again today. So I'm just tired and I'll try it again next time. But it is really fun movement and hopefully I can get someone to actually film when I'm climbing on the arch because it's a really cool feature. There's a little girl downstairs who's going around all the holds and she's like, this one's a muggle, this one's a muggle, this one's a muggle. I'm like, I have no idea why she's calling them all a muggle, but you know, if you get mad at holds, I guess just call them muggles. It's absolutely insane to me how quiet the gym is on a Saturday morning compared to when I come on like a weekday night. And I think throughout the winter months, I might make Saturday sessions like a little bit more of a regular thing. So if you guys enjoyed this, let me know. Give the video a like. Before I go, if you haven't seen it in my previous video, uh, I made campus of cap shirts. They look like this. There's also ones that are army green with yellow lettering. There's blue hoodies. There's a lot of different colors. Uh, campus L Cap, if you want to know the story behind it, go watch this video. And if you want to purchase one, you can do it at the link in the description. Thanks for watching and stay hyped.